Well, let's go back to the, the gay thing, because, you know, we've established that you don't really know a whole lot about the religion you claim to believe in. So I would, I would um, you know, when, when you're in the absence of important information like that, I would think just go with what you know, go with what you see. And by that, I mean, you know, you've never been attacked by a homosexual. They've never done anything evil to you. Actually, yes, I was abused by one. A, a homosexual principal at my elementary school tapped me on his lap, said some, offense, said some offensive things to me, and I found a couple, so I jumped on his lap and hit on his desk. What did he say to you? I don't remember... I don't remember what he said to me, but they were offensive. Um, so, okay, well, there are bad gay people, just like there are bad straight people. Um, so, one gay person did something bad to you that you don't really remember, therefore all gay people are going to hell? Is that the logic you're doing there? Uh, more or less. How many... Okay, so I should condemn all straight people because you've been horrible to me. You've said a lot of bad things to me. You've threatened me. Maybe, or not just straight, maybe I should condemn autistic people because you identify with autism a lot and you have been a very bad person in most of our dealings. Hmm. Are all autistic people um, really selfish and demanding? Uh, and arrogant? No. Not all of them are. But all homosexuals are bad? Because you had one bad experience? Okay, That's well, a double yeah, standard. Okay, they're, uh, okay, well, they're all not. Oh. Well, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll wait to see if you really stick to that belief or not, I guess. I mean, I guess it's good that you're saying it now, but... Why do you sigh so much? Well, I'm a little tired right now. I had to actually clean more. I cleaned the kitchen again today. Don't you usually stay up till like 4 a.m. or something? You said. I mean, this is kind of like the middle of the day for you, isn't it? No, this is not the middle of the day for me. This is the middle of the night for me. But you, okay, you said you sleep till like noon, right? And then I, you I'll, you stay up till like three or four at night. That's kind of a that's a really weird schedule, by the way. Yeah, but actually, like actually, I'm I'm mostly going to bed before midnight, and I get up at like nine a.m. Oh, well, I actually go to bed like around eleven, and you know, so I'm closer to my bedtime than you are to yours. But I I feel fine. Yeah, we all get tired, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, um. Yeah. What do you think of? Oh, let's see here. Um. Oh, here's another good question. When someone asked you about the mailbag that you fabricated, and you gave them that sock response again, I just I really want to see you actually my. My main goal right now is I want to see you put real effort into your mailbags. I, well, really, that, I, put, that, I put as much effort as I could, but, you know, sometimes I do come up blank, and that cannot be helped. Chris, you're – I know you've said plenty of times you're a pretty smart guy, right? Yeah, but sometimes I'm quick, sometimes I'm slow. Why? It just happens. I don't know why. It's my head. I'm not a psychiatrist. You don't have to be a psychologist. You, you remember that Mike Jackson uh, memorial email you got here? You used the copy and paste response on that, too. Uh, yeah, well, I didn't know who that was. I didn't realize that that was the, uh, I was the guy that, that went out and... When I moved out and went married the prostitute that did him. I and thought I, I that you I thought that you said that you spent a lot of time reading and carefully rereading these emails. How do you not know the basics of what it's about? 
Well, I miss a detail or two sometimes. It happens. You missed all the detail, Chris. You missed all the detail. I mean, I thought they were talking about Michael Jackson, the, the pop star. Maybe if you'd read the email, you would have said, you know, seen that that wasn't the case. Do you even look at that uh, memorial? Chris, okay, you really, Chris okay, did, why do you I not did. put effort into anything? I do put effort in every in everything. Everything? No. I told you that your your website was going to get taken down because of a lawsuit over a stolen character, and you did nothing. You know, I tell you, you got to upload pages, and you do nothing. I tell you, you got to respond. I am and, working on the page. I'm but you don't to upload, upload them. Yes, I'm. Yes, I do, and I will. No, will is different from do. Will is future tense, and it hasn't happened uh, yet. I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired of this. You're raising your voice at me. I'm not. I don't appreciate it. Well, I, I think I kind of, you know, I'm just trying to um, enunciate a point. I'm trying to get you to respond. Yeah. Chris, um, a person raising their voice, that really is enough to just, you know, completely discombobulate you? Besides, you yelled at me first. No, you raised your voice at me first. No. No, I asked you, Chris, why do you not care about anything? And then you screamed, I do care. You're being, you're being, you're being ridiculing to me. Uh, is that the pot calling the kettle black? Chris, I, I, want to, I want to understand why it is okay for you to do so many things to other people, but you get mad when they do it to, back to you. Please, I'm asking you a simple question. Please explain this to me. Why is it that any level, any tiny level of, of stress or inconvenience, and you immediately will fall back on, you know, you're being attacked or you're being, you know, you're, you're, your it world is... Happens, it just happens, especially when I'm tired. No, that's not an excuse. That is not an excuse. That's an excuse that a child uses. Children complain that they have to do a little bit of hard, you know, work or deal with uh, unpleasant situations. It, honestly, I uh, have been very polite with you, Chris. I don't swear at you except, you know, a few occasions when you really piss me off, but for the most part I don't. I don't yell at you, ex you know, I raise my voice in response to you raising your voice. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to talk to you like an adult. Okay, well, I'm just tired right now. And, you know, considering your bed at 11 o'clock, uh, you probably uh, want to finish this up while I wrap this up as well. So no, I'm doing good. Let's just, let's, let's just agree that uh, I'm, I will be uploading the pages. And uh, when you got and uh, perhaps after your uh, book ten is completed, uh, you could. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Well, don't you know what? About. If you want to, yeah, don't, don't, don't worry about the ad. Don't worry about the uh, ad space at this point. Uh, I'll just leave you to that. But uh, Please yeah, stop but, you know, running away from me, Chris. What? Please stop running away from me. I'm not running away from you. I'm right here. You're, I, I know you're not literally running away, but you're trying to end the conversation because I'm making you feel bad. <sighs> and it's not even because I'm attacking or insulting you. I'm just presenting, you know, a few things that are very minorly unpleasant. Mm. Okay, well, with that... Uh Sometimes there are things that, yeah, we don't re re regenerate. We do, we would not prefer the we would we would prefer the opposite of unpleasant. You seem to prefer the opposite of unpleasant literally all the time. <sighs> Any little bit of stress, and you run for the hills. You avoid anything unpleasant. Even even in cases where dealing with a small problem now will avert a very big problem later, 
You always choose the hard way. You choose